to show you what I'm doing on the mini mill. Okay, I've got you in through from the side so you can you can see the DTI. So what I'm doing actually is I've drilled a hole and mounted this uh, on a piece of uh, plywood and uh, I'm just about to, to bolt this down but I want this edge to be absolutely square on on the table. Now um, it's a bit fiddly but I'll just run the X back and forth, and you can see how far, how far it's out. In actual fact, I'll zoom you in a bit. You probably won't be able to see too much there. Probably better for you. It's about two tenths of a millimeter out, so just. That's 0.15 out. Uh, we can get it closer than that. That's good enough. Right, the start of the program, I, I think you can just about pick that mark up there. It's right there on that edge, right on that corner. So I'm going to set the zero zero there, and then uh, this is just a spot drilling program. I just wanted to be sure that that bolt wasn't going to hit anything. I'm going to call it. That's perfect. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen um, much about Mark III, um, this is the Mark III screen. This was written, the program was written um, way back, I think, about um, 2005, something like that. And it's still one of the best programs today. Uh, there's a lot of others that you'll see out there, but uh, this is tried and tested, and um, I use it on all my machines actually. So, to put a file in, a G code file, that is, uh, just come here to File, Load G code, and then find the device. And we want um, spot drilling, which is there. Double click, and it's in. So I pri prior to putting this in, uh, I've set all the zeros and I've raised the Z up off the material, um, ready to, to go. So what I find a good practice is when you have put the G code into Mac 3, is to come over here and regen the toolpath. This just resets everything in Mark III. It's a good practice to to uh, to do. Um, I can do this without running flood coolant, so you can see what's going on as well. So I'll just start the 
motor up because that's uh, separate, separate from Mark III. Some of you might think this uh, interesting. It's a very simple job, uh, really. I'm going to change a co the collet because this is a six to seven millimeter collet in here, and I've got to put a five millimeter drill in, and this is a five millimeter collet. Okay, there's two cones uh, inside here, one on the, the nut that goes on here, and this is up inside here, and what happens when the nut gets tightened up? It just crushes this down onto the shank of the, the drill. It's a very, very tight uh, fitting chuck, I'll call it, and um, very, very accurate as well. So that's what we're going to do next. Change the collet. So just simply take that one out. Fit this one in. Like that. Put the drill in. And tighten him up. Uh, I will be using f flood coolant this time, so I'll show you as much as I can. So I'm going to set the uh, Z0, and you can set the Z0 with a drill, or any other tool actually, uh, just simply with a piece of paper, just to find out when the edge of that end of that drill is just touching the metal. This is about a thousandth of an inch. Paper. And that is just there, just perfect. So I'm going to set the Z0. I'll sh actually show you how I do that in Mark III. Those numbers there in the middle in that window, they're called um, DROs, or digital readouts. So if you hear anybody mention DROs, that's these here. And to set the Z0, in other words, tell Mark III where the end of that, th that the end of that drill is on top of that material, is that, zero, Z, zero. Okay, so I'll set in the Z, zero. And we just raise that up off the material, and we can start this program going. Up after setting, regen. holes at seven millimeters. Okay, this one's a little bit more interesting. This is a, a six millimeter end mill, it's a three flute. And what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five holes. We're going to count, make a countersink hole about um, six mil deep. Because the, the, the heads 
I need to be flush with the material. So that's the next job. Okay, and now for something a little bit more interesting, and that is a 26 millimeter pocket over here in the middle. And that's an 8 millimeter three flute end mill in there, and uh, it goes something like this. And I'm going to show you the type of accuracy now that, you know, a home-built, home-kit CNC conversion to a, a little SIG mill. And this is the type of accuracy it can get. We're looking for 26 millimeter. And that is absolutely perfect. 26 millimeter. Just brought you in for a closer look at this. And of course these pockets are perfect. Nice and clean. Just...